After cutting a giant hole into a concrete wall, YouTuber Cyrax686 climbs through the hole to show us the secret room he's found beyond the wall. It's not big, but it is something, he says, noting that there's an unconnected pipe coming diagonal down the wall in the room. In one corner of the ceiling, there's a hook. At another point in the wall, another pipe juts out but leads nowhere. A pile of wood is piled on the ground, tied with a length of rope. The point of this secret room is unclear. Whether it has no utility or some secret use, we may never know. The call is coming from inside the house, posted to TikTok by Old Fogey John. You can hear the fear in this man's breathing as he moves around his home. And you'll soon see why. As the man turns around the corner, a mysterious, psychotic head sticks out sideways from a hallway, leading down some stairs. The psycho face is looking right at the resident. The angle of his head is so odd it's uncanny. As the mysterious stranger watches, the resident lets out a gasp of pure, unadulterated fear. <laughs> While some in the comments are telling the TikToker to run for the hills, others are suggesting why this man might have shown up. Mayhem Mayhem writes, When your neighbor finds out you changed your Wi-Fi password, if that's the case, you better give him the new password. <laughs> Well, this ghost hunter explored a cathedral, he was met with something unexpected. The devil. Ghost hunter Red Fox set up a Ouija board inside this haunted cathedral and soon felt like he was being watched. <sighs> And not only watch, but something is clearly present. Watch the playback, nothing is in the hallway from where the sound was coming from. And then that nothing is coming straight at him. The playback again shows nothing there. Until the big reveal. The playback reveals all areas of the cathedral on camera while this occurred. Later, the ghost hunter discovers his Ouija board has been misplaced. Looks like the devil has left the chat. This stranger in a hockey jersey demands entry. Would you let him in? Let me in. Published by Sam Maloney in May of 2022, this ring doorbell camera captured this man's attempted entry on video. After being dropped off by a white car that drives away, the man walks up the stairs and rings the doorbell a couple of times. He speaks in a strange, froggy voice. He continues to growl at the door. Let me in. Let me in. Alexa then asks him what his intentions are, and he responds. Welcome. Let me in. This is Alexa. What is the purpose of the visit? 
I require entry. After demanding entry, the man disappears from the camera's sight, but it's not clear where he went. He didn't retreat down the front stairs. Did he find a way in through the door or a window? You and me are left with more questions than answers. Tivity. Is this baby causing its toy to levitate? YouTube channel ScaryVid uploaded this creepy poltergeist activity on camera. The baby lies awake in its crib, while a stuffed animal levitates and then falls repeatedly on the bed. I think either this baby has superpowers, or the parents should move it out of this room ASAP. Number 2 Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something it sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope Real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. If you were a fan of Tales from the Crypt, this scary video is right up your alley. Published by Proving Demons in October of 2021, this video welcomes you to the land of the no longer living. When they arrive on site, the first thing that greets them is a cemetery. Oh. oh, it's a cemetery. There's a cemetery here. Navigating through brambles down to a lower entrance, they arrive at a barbed wire fence. It's clear that the owners didn't want anyone getting in here. They have to walk through the barbed wire to get to the door. Having traveled five hours to explore this site. Oh, please God, let it be open. We've traveled five and a half hours. At last, they arrive at the door and are thankfully able to open it. Wandering through the old church, they encounter several crypts. More open crypts and coffins are found at the end of the hallway. While well water floods the floor, a human skull is in one open coffin and there is human hair still on it. Oh, no. Come here. No. Oh, Education. Oh, oh. So, I want to point out, just sign a light on it for me. There's still hair on its head. Still got teeth. Obviously, oh, that's rotting brain in there. As he's prodding the skull head, they think they hear something down the hallway. Oh. What? What's wrong? Examining the skull more closely, you can see it still has human hair and teeth. As they're talking about how it felt like someone was walking behind them, someone shushes them from what sounds like the corner of the room. Really? What was that? The shh. Somebody just shh us. It seems this team of urban explorers has disturbed the peace. All I know is I would never be going back to that place. This vintage Area 51 footage looks like it was taken sometime during the 50s if I had to guess. Service technicians in puffy white suits tend to an oblong disc like UFO on long spindly legs. I'm not sure if this video looks wavy because of grainy footage or due to electromagnetic disturbance from whatever power source this object has. Seeing it in action looks pretty realistic and convincing. It seems to hover in place using some kind of anti-gravitational technology that I doubt we pioneered ourselves without the direct assistance or at least the supervision of an advanced species. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Adams is trying to sneak into the Chatham Hospital through the basement. This hospital is supposedly well guarded with high tech security systems and even dogs. I'm not sure what he expects to find inside, but it's probably not these bright yellow chunks of rotting insulation. 
Hopefully, this is normal and not asbestos, a type of building material often used in old hospitals that is known to cause very bad health effects. <coughs> After about five minutes of navigating through dark tunnels and dead ends, he pops open a ceiling panel and drops down inside the main building. The hospital's dirty white rooms are mostly empty. At one point, he does come across this mysterious message written backwards in jagged red letters, but I can't make out what it says. Let me know if you can. Less than two minutes later, he finds himself running down the hospital hallways as fast as he can. Alarm, people! Alarm! F***ing alarm! Exploring with Adams double times it through the basement tunnel system and scrambles above ground. He gets away for now, but hopefully no street cameras tracked his escape. If you saw this on the horizon, you may think some serious stuff is going down. Post it to the Very Spooky Video subreddit by RavenTexX. The Redditor writes, Is this recent? Looks real. The footage shows a dark and stormy scene with heavy clouds on the horizon and in their midst a blinding beam of light. The light brightens and recedes more, but stays in the sky for quite some time before zapping out, leaving the night in total and utter darkness. While life forms outside of this planet could very well exist, some Redditors have other explanations. Greg the Chief writes, It could be a Transformer. I worked as an electrician the past few years. I never saw something that size, but electric energy has more power than most people think. Since I'm not an electrician, I wouldn't know for sure, but that sounds like a pretty rational explanation. Warning, if you summon La Llorona, prepare for the worst. While investigating the Hinsdale House, YouTuber Mo Sarji summoned the weeping woman and he lived to regret it. While speaking through a spirit box, he received some answers. Was there actually an exorcism here? <gasps> oh my God, that was a yes! And a, like an evil. Like it was mad. But the interview is cut short. Was it a priest? Behind you, behind you! What? Behind you? Something just f***ing appeared behind you! Something just f***ing appeared behind you! What? Like a f***ing mist! Like a oh white mist! God. Holy f***! I don't blame him. I'd be done too if I'd just seen La Llorona in the flash. In 2019, an allegedly real supernatural creature sighting video emerged from Sindh, Pakistan. According to villagers, this bizarre humanoid was caught entering houses and attempting to devour them. They all formed a group to chase it with sticks down the street into the night. While dodging blows at exactly 7 seconds, the creature looks to reveal a furry face with all red eyes. However, I think this looks like a mask worn by somebody pretending to be a monster. Maybe the villagers were making a fake video, or maybe in their mass panic they were really fooled into believing this monster existed. I'll keep an eye out for similar sightings around Pakistan, but I don't think I'll find many like this one because, well, it probably isn't real. If I'm wrong though, and plenty of people who've seen this video think that I am, then this creature sighting would be absolutely horrifying to have caught on camera. I wish they had a longer recording of the incident. Ghost hunting YouTuber D-Dog Michael finds what he's looking for in this terrifying video. As he explores this abandoned place, the sounds are undeniable. <laughs> He hears another noise, like murmuring. He then hears a snapping noise, like something walking, and for a moment he thinks he sees something. Then there's a jingling right next to him.
A series of unexplained events happen. Later in that same room, more mysterious things unfold. It almost sounds like he's choking. Things get darker from there. Michael hears something and then he sees it. Here it is again. There's definitely a shadow moving in the darkness. Is it a person or a spirit? My vote is for the latter because I don't think I've ever seen a creepier house. Omar Vassell and his friend are having a very strange problem in the toy section of Target. I will let them explain everything in a moment, but let's just say one of the toys seems to be a little too active. When is that? This toy does not go off. This toy does not go off. But the center toy goes off. Stop. My hands over here. Bow. Toy goes off. Just watch. What? What is that? Like, please tell me what that is, America. Please. Maybe the batteries are depleted in all of the toys except for the one in the middle, but that still doesn't explain why it would go off when the other toys are touched. I feel like this video could have an obvious explanation that I'm not thinking of, so if you recognize these toys, or if you know anything about the toy manufacturing or design in general, then please let me know how this could possibly happen. When you have video proof from not one, but three angles, it's hard for paranormal deniers to say it's all in your head. Posted by one ocelot4 to the ghosts subreddit. The redditor caught the strange shadow in his kitchen on a security camera. He said the window shutters were down and nothing in the kitchen was turned on. He also mentioned in the comments that he sometimes feels cold spots in the hallway and his security camera often goes off when he leaves the house. Whether you believe in the paranormal or not, the following footage is hard to explain. The clip shows a large, dark shadow flash past, falling over the kitchen entryway for just a moment. Not only has the uploader captured this footage from one vantage point, but he has all three cameras on it, and they all show the creepy shadow flicker past. What in the world could be creating this terrifying effect? Those in the comments have plenty of theories. Redditor Mr. Mesquite says it's obviously a ghost writing. Very harmless unless you are harmed. Good luck. Will many note that it could be something casting the shadow from outside through the windows? The Redditor reiterates that the shades are closed. So who do you choose to believe? Is there a practical explanation? Or should this Redditor bring in a medium and scope out the situation? As another Redditor suggests, Whatever happens, I don't think I'd be entering that kitchen for a while. A paranormal investigator from India named Deep Tea Vlog and her ghost hunting crew go exploring what, in their words, is one of the most haunted places in all of Madhya Pradesh. It's a long trek through some scary woods just to get there, and they are also quite sure some creepy things will be caught on camera before the night is through. Oh, in the distance, they see a figure walking slowly off the beaten path, and then it just sort of mysteriously disappears into the darkness. All of them run much faster than the figure was moving, but when they get to where they had just had the ghost sighting, they find an empty clearing and nothing more. A security guard is patrolling the San Francisco College campus when he catches a glimpse of an all-black figure moving fast. 
He quickly rounds the corner and finds absolutely nothing there. Notice how the silhouette is traveling in a straight line at a high rate of speed and has no time to run up the steps or to hide on the right before the security guard catches up with it. I don't see any jump cut editing either, so I think this could really be an actual ghost. What would you do if someone was stalking you? That's a decision YouTuber Near Shadows had to make while on the scariest randonautica of their lives. At this site, they come across a golden box amongst some trees and brush. What is that? No. No way. Uh-uh. It's too cold for all this. Come grab this. I got gloves. What is this? When they lift it, they see it's bound with tape and fishing line. Babe, it's like a weird box that's binded up. I kind of see. It has fishing line on it. It has fishing line Look on it. it. I don't want to help. Oh. Look at this. Oh my god. You guys see that? They examine it and discover something shocking. Whoa. What? This says 50th anniversary on it. 50th anniversary? Look, 50th anniversary. Not kidding. Oh wow. What does that mean? Not kidding. The art. When they open it up, this is what they find. We're going to get into this. What the heck? It's, it's a balloon. It's a balloon that has like 61, 16. Balloons. It sounds like there's rocks it or something. Like rocks or pebbles in there, yo. What the heck? With something inside them. Do you feel anything in that one? Yeah. That one doesn't sound, that one sounds empty. There's little pieces of something in it. Let me see. Like, it almost sounds like it almost feels like bullets or something. It's kind of weird. And this clue? It's a piece of paper. Sixth Street. Sixth Street. It's like a ripped up portion of a map. And it says Sixth Street. Sixth Street. Babe, we're on Sixth Street. When they open the balloon, they uncover a mystery. What is that? It's a little bead, and it has the number two on it. What do these numbers mean? Good close-up. Pause this and... They then notice some people watching them. Who's this person walking over oh God, here? are they coming over here? Come on, guys. Some freaking... Please, please don't come over here. Please. Oh but they realize they're probably not here for them. What was that? I'm not touching it. Could be drugs in this neighborhood. They open up the second balloon. Oh, sure they're beads. these are big beads. That's what she said. Would you? <laughs> oh no, drop the bead. The letters must mean something too, but what? A Z S. Near Shadows continues to follow this mystery of a missing person's case in their next video. I'm curious as to what these clues mean. I assume the girl who went missing was 16, judging by the balloon, and this is the 50th anniversary since she went missing. But as to the numbers and letters, I guess we'll have to wait for the series' next installment. Dan from Nighthawks Paranormal is exploring this demon house in an investigation that will give you chills. As he enters, he hears a strange moan. Okay, I have got my torch as well. Oh, help me. He continues to hear things off screen. But there's nothing there. Still, it's almost like he's being followed. So that one. <gasps> Was that you then? It made that noise on that. He keeps hearing faint noises. <laughs> Is that? 
Then he captures a figure on the connect standing near the railing. Thank you. Can you do that again? Thank you. The figure makes its way down the stairs. Can you show yourself again, please? Dan then feels something watching him. <sighs> Holy Was that you then? I've just heard. The spirit is now leading him. <gasps> what the flipping heck is that? Are you trying to get my attention in another room? Is it this room you want me in? Then Dan sees him in the mirror. Is that you? Is that you in the mirror? And from another angle... Or have you misplaced it? <gasps> Is the spirit trying to reveal itself to him? I think so. Either that or it's inviting Dan into the mirror. The asylum. This poltergeist activity is insane. Perhaps literally. Captured at a haunted asylum, TikToker Louis D Vlog shares this video of a poltergeist encounter. It starts with a scare. I told this yesterday. Ooh. And the fear grows with this EVP. Throw that chair. Nah. Is there a chair? Is there a chair? There is a chair there, bro. <laughs> the EVP says, throw that chair. A second EVP makes things far spookier. Oh my oh, no. God. Something in the chair. Right yeah. Are children causing mayhem here? They seem to respond to the team's demands. Make it sleep. Make it sleep. Oh, do it. Slam that door right now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure if children's spirits would be this angry, but whether young or old, the aggression is clear. Number 13. When a shadow passes through your security footage, you know you're not alone. Posted by Lily Monique to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Lily shares that her uncle David and her father work for mall security. She writes, this is what my dad and uncle caught on mall security cameras where they work in the middle of the night in the parking lot. The video shows David standing in the middle of the empty lot. He remains there in the light, and no one at all is around. But then a shadow passes close to the camera, completely blocking him from view for a moment. It almost looks as if a figure glided directly in front of the security camera. If I were David, I'd be looking over my shoulder in that parking garage. Do you have the cojones to dance with the devil? Published by Devil's Hours Production in May of 2021, this scary video sees one paranormal investigator playing around with Beezlebub. Originally filmed in March of 2013, the crew gets a spike on the Melmeter after one of them asks the spirits to make their presence known. Can you make your presence known? Just so you know, Matt, uh, we're getting a 0.1 spike on the Mel meter right now. As they continue onward, the meter rises and rises and rises some more. When they specifically ask the spirit to raise the meter, it does. 0.1, 1.2, 1.3. Is that you? Speaking to this device right here. I heard another one. Is Under. that you? Speaking to this device right here. I heard another voice. Oh, that could have been a car. Hold on. Oh. 
They continue walking when they suddenly hear a girl giggling. The girl remains with them and she makes her presence known. It's hot on here. Seven. Point six. I just heard a little girl. Point six. six. You go up to that antenna right now and you touch it, it will go off and that's how we can know that it's you. The pair capture the creepy image on camera. It looks very much like a small girl and later they hear a demonic hissing noise. Is this the soul of a little girl? Or is it the devil pretending? This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep, or it could be a possession. As uploader Jron2 seems to think, listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Things are not conscious. Oh yeah? What does that mean? One person in the comment section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in old Latin, whatever that means. If a second person could verify that this is what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. On May 11th, 2020, this boy in Texas walked up to his parents after collecting a bucket full of these strange creatures. He was using a small plastic toy shovel. Had he used his hands, he might not have survived. If you ever see one of these strange sea creatures washed up on the beach, don't ever try to pick it up. They're called blue dragons. Dragons, and as the name in bright blue colors should warn you, their toxic wrath will mess you up quick. Sometimes. I say sometimes because grabbing one leaves a 50-50 chance of you writhing in the worst pain of your life, worse than a giant jellyfish or even a stingray, or you won't feel anything at all. That's because these sea slugs feed on much larger venomous prey like jellyfish. They take the venom of their prey and store it to be used against larger threats like us, for example. Their supercharged sting feels like the wrath of a dragon as a result, and how much damage it does to humans depends on how recently they feasted. Blue dragons have been known to wash ashore and cause major problems for anyone unfortunate enough to walk through a patch of them like this one. They also float upside down and can be easy for swimmers to miss in the shimmering sea until it's too late and they are burning all over. A group of them are called a blue fleet. If accidentally brushing up against a single one is worse than a school of jellyfish, imagine how a whole fleet would feel. The science world acknowledges this creature has enough venom to potentially end your life, and if that possibility doesn't make them one of the scariest things you can find at the beach, I don't know what does. No actual cases like that have been documented yet, so stay far away from them and you won't be the first. This home in Bathell, Washington has been overtaken by an evil force that refuses to go away. Paranormal experts from all over the world have been baffled by their findings, like this team for example. First, motion sensors repeatedly detect movement in areas where nothing is visible to the eye. What's especially weird is how the tripwires stop beeping whenever the investigators are near. Grunts, growls, and strange laughter echo throughout the house as well. Here's an example of the same laugh caught on multiple cameras. You maybe correct it a little bit better. <laughs> All of the noises sound like they are the right distance away in each shot, so this is probably real. 
After experiencing paranormal activity in her home, Beth Ann Thorson bought some Nest cameras. Then she captured these strange flashes, which she shared on Facebook. The flashes are seen again in a second video. Some in the comments suggest they could be flashing in Morse code, but after checking with a military friend of the family, the couple nixed that theory. Beth Ann also checked her phone's providers, potential faults, and updates, but nothing explains why the flashing occurred, and it's particularly alarming that it happened on each phone individually. Many in the comments believe the spirits are trying to communicate with them, others think they're just letting them know they're there. Well, my first thought is that it could be an Amber Alert, which would impact all phones in the area. I agree that it may be some form of communication from the beyond through the phone's energy. Whatever it is, it's highly unsettling. Arachnophobes beware. This video is straight out of Ron Weasley's Nightmares, published by Exotic Slayer in October of 2018. Footage of this spider will remind you why so many people fear them. The Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider by mass and size. Goliath calls South America home, and its leg span is second only to the giant huntsman spider. Goliath is called a bird eater for a reason. A copper engraving, made by Maria Sibylla Marion, in the 18th century depicts the giant spider chowing down on a hummingbird. But don't worry, birds aren't often the spider's prey. Rather, he prefers worms, amphibians, insects, and other arachnopods. Although Goliath has been known to eat things as large as rodents, lizards, and snakes. Imagine running into this spider in your jungle lair. It's what nightmares are made of. Blink and you'll miss it. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Power Startup writes, IDK, what's up with this video? It's slowed down and the voice sounds poorly acted. But when she turns the camera back around, look at the left staircase. As the woman in the video addresses an unseen presence called Joey, the camera pans from a rickety old stair to a darkened window for a moment. It's when she turns back that viewers are seeing something unusual. Redditor Paratrax writes, That's a foot, walking up the stairs, while others agree that it appears on the third step to the bottom near the railing. Is this Joey? If so, he's not in the basement. Lady, he'd be right beside you. The Stones River Paranormal Team is investigating a haunted courthouse in Tennessee when something truly bizarre happens. One of them is talking about how cold her hands feel when all of the sudden... One of the double doors leading to the bathroom unlocks and swings shut. The team tries to recreate the situation to see if it's just a loose hinge or a faulty lock, but this doesn't seem to be the case at all. The door has no problem staying open for the rest of the night and doesn't shut again. Long before this particular room was remodeled, it was used as a prison for captured Union soldiers. During the Civil War, it only makes sense that paranormal activity would occur in this historic corner of the courthouse. This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sophia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sophia confirms that she saw it move too. Justin Minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Justin Minx's home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time, she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. 
A YouTuber named the Ghost Metalhead 666 is filming an empty room in the castle of King Henry VIII when suddenly a visitor materializes before his very eyes. Look in the bottom left corner to see it. The YouTuber captures the translucent outline of a small child. You can see how the toddler starts out on the floor and unsteadily climbs to its feet. The head, arms, and legs are unmistakably human-like. If someone is any good with video editing, then let me know if this is fake or the real thing. Otherwise, as more than one person pointed out in the comments section, Henry VIII did have many stillborns during his reign as king, and this perhaps could be one of them. Friends explore a park in North Hollywood after hearing reports of a maniac approaching random people. Soon they grow bored and decide to try to test the visual range of their night vision camera for fun. He tells his friend to keep moving back until she is barely visible. It's on night vision. Okay. This is... uh, keep going. Soon she is little more than an outline of a black silhouette against the night sky. When she is a good distance away, something that's been watching them the entire time snatches her into the shadows. If this video is real, then whatever grabs her possesses impossible strength and speed. It picks her up off her feet like she weighs nothing at all, which makes me wonder how big this creature is and how it manages to move so fast without any sound. If you've seen the James Franco film 127 Hours, then you know the story of Aaron Ralston. Ralston was 26 when he ventured into southeast Utah's Blue John Canyon. On April 26, 2003, the climbing enthusiast was scaling down a slot canyon. When a boulder he was standing on came loose and caught him between a rock and a hard place. Literally, his right hand was trapped between the boulder and the canyon wall. Ralston hadn't told anyone he was heading out to climb, so with the knowledge that no search party would be scouring the canyon for him anytime soon, he knew he'd have a disturbing decision to make. But before he made the decision to cut off his arm, he made a video diary of what could have been his last days. The diary was meant as a final message to his family and friends, as Ralston was sure he was going to pass away there. Apart from a short clip of the video diary, none of the footage has been released. Ralston says it is a private video for himself and his family. However, the producer Zen Franco watched the footage to prepare for 127 hours. A transcript was written verbatim from his video diary. If you're squeamish, you probably wouldn't want to see the whole thing anyway. Then again, if you were squeamish, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. A YouTuber named Wokun Cha is on a mission to explore the most haunted places in Pakistan faster than anyone in the history of ghost hunting. Since August of 2019, he has investigated no less than 60 paranormal locations. But for time's sake, let's focus on these top three scariest ones. In September of 2019, he travels to a house possessed by demonic desert spirits called Jinns. He takes a single step in the first room and already feels a cold presence warning him to stay away. Then the door across the room closes so slowly you have to watch the shine of his camera light to see it. When he fearlessly takes a few steps forward, a ghostly white arm reaches for the knob to shut it the rest of the way, at which point his flashlight turns itself off. The same door clatter loses again behind him. Someone's on the other side, but whether it's a ghost or a member of his crew is what I want to know. Also, what is he saying here to provoke such an angry response? Allah. 
Nobody is on the other side of the door. At least no one that I can see. Though I suppose someone could be ducking under the camera here to make it look that way. But that's when he sees it. The thing responsible for closing the door. A white apparition who glides away without a word. It's creepy for sure but also questionable because he sees the ghost and then enters the room looking the exact opposite way for some reason. Which makes me think that they could have digitally added the ghost later. Next he hears something so eerie and insane that it almost has to be edited. Let me know if you think it's legit because if so then this is pretty much proof of the supernatural. Voices, perhaps children, whose lives the djinn has snuffed. The ghost hunter understandably seems reluctant to go any further, and perhaps senses a great danger is near. As it turns out, he's right. <laughs> No one seems to be inside of this room, but as he timidly rounds the corner, I think I see this grey figure in a cloak standing on the other side, the djinn itself. It's blurry, yes, but something nonetheless seems to be looking straight at him. The top arrow is its face, and the bottom its outstretched hand, palm up. He flees then and there, but on February 2nd of 2020, returns to the home for another look. I think they might be saying that something is on the roof here, but I need your help to translate and make sure. Apparently, whatever it is, it's now in the room with them so they step outside. They take a short breather but as soon as they're back inside, the trouble starts once again. I'm pretty sure he's asking for confirmation of a ghost during this part and soon he gets a response. At which point this chain on a nail begins to sway back and forth for well over 10 seconds completely on its own. Door slams shut but Wokan Cha is determined to go further than before and eventually he comes across a bizarre straw hut that fills him with unexplainable dread. The earth looks recently disturbed. Anything could be buried beneath the rubble. He's contemplating the structure when the spirits become restless. Astaghfirullah. Or maybe it's just a string tied to a tree. Either way, he seeks shelter in an area that's just as haunted as everywhere else, and soon he hears voices coming through the walls. At this point, you would think nothing could stop this fearless explorer. Doors slamming, groaning moans, and objects moving on their own aren't enough to make him leave. But the part that scares him the most is literally nothing at all. A presence that we can't see and only he can feel. Is this part real or just good acting? A deep sea condition, eh? Allah Akbar! Astaghfirullah! He turns around and looks at the corner as if something had just brushed by. Whatever touched him leaves him too scared to re-enter. I've saved the creepiest one of all for last, a paranormal adventure that takes place on October 23rd, 2019. That's when Wokan Cha travels to a site full of unmarked burials. Many of them are child-sized. It's a calm night and crickets chirp as he says a few words that I would like translated because they sound very somber and sorrowful. The stillness of the night is soon replaced by a rushing whisper that sounds lonely and paranormal, a rising cry of anguish possibly originating from the other side of life. As he reaches an old memorial, he hears another voice call out, a near laugh. And approximately two minutes later, the same voice laughing. <laughs> he 
His nervous fear is overpowered by a morbid curiosity to stay and see who the voice belongs to. I was halfway expecting a hand to bust forth from the earth, but what happens next is just as frightening. Allahu Akbar. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Mere dosto, wo usaya se. Mere dosto, wo. He checks around the side of the building and sees nothing. He's all alone again, just himself in the graves. I wish Wokun Shaw all the best, but at the same time really hopes he slows down to a safer rate of exploring. If he keeps this up, it's only a matter of time before something really bad happens to him. And at this rate, he might not even make it to his 100th video. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Purgatory Adventures. This redditor wrote, Check out this crazy scream we captured while spending the night in a haunted location in Saskatchewan, Canada. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. See that? Yeah. Kick it again. Yeah, I can see the lights. See the lights, Kate? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Lady Mania wrote, I barely hear a scream. I only hear regular noises and the two people talking. Well, Corn TJE wrote, Sounds like a cat in my opinion. Did you hear the scream the uploader is talking about? If so, what do you think is causing it? Let me know in the comments. A woman haunts this old house, and these paranormal investigators are about to meet her. Published by Thiago Ferracao, he and his partner are exploring this haunted home. When they are greeted by this, their EMF meter is going full throttle as they look back at the doorway terrified. C'est vous! They follow the phantom woman into this room, but they find no one. Still, their EMF meter is full. There's a crack in the wall in this room, and Thiago instinctively heads towards it. Setting her camera there, she captures the woman again. Would you remain in this home with such a reclusive figure? Or is it time for these two to leave her to her ghost town? Houses aren't the only stomping grounds for ghosts. Apparently, so are Walmarts. Posted by YouTuber Shabard, he notes that this little girl Walmart ghost was caught on surveillance camera in Oxnard, California. Shabard writes, Walmart is haunted by the ghost of a 7-9 to nine year old Mexican-American girl. According to Shabard, night workers at Walmart claim to have felt cold spots and to have seen balls bouncing on their own. Others say they've seen the girl in a solid full apparition, while the ghost has appeared to some as a misty half-body apparition. Those who come across the ghost state that she smiles, giggles, and is often playful, but there's just one problem. According to the website Backpackerverse, the girl's eyes are disturbingly milky white, and from the mouth down, her whole body is covered in red liquid, apparently an appalling amount of it. The video purportedly captures this friendly ghost in semi-transparent form. She appears to be pursuing the closed section of Walmart. She can be seen for a split second before she vanishes out of view again. She isn't wearing her regular blue dress, but appears to be wearing some shorts and a t-shirt. She also does not seem to be covered in red, so who knows? Perhaps there is a second ghost haunting these hallowed grounds. As a parent, often you must keep your fear inside for the sake of your children. If you want to know how, take a master class from this dad. Posted by Matt to World in February of 2016, the uploader writes in Spanish, a video that I took of a paranormal phenomenon that occurs in a neighborhood of Greater Buenos Aires. The video appears to show a father and son watching TV. The father apparently feels the urge to go check on something in the room next door. When he first looks in, apart from a strange sheet appearing to cover something in the middle of the floor, nothing seems abnormal. 
It also looks like two figures are asleep in opposite beds. He returns to his son, checks the bathroom and the kitchen, and swings back to the room where the light fixture is still swinging around. Then the sheet suddenly collapses. Apparently, it was covering nothing. A nearby broom falls to the ground, and then someone in the bed moves. Somehow, the father remains incredibly calm, as if this is an everyday occurrence, and from the sounds of it, it might be. In the comments, Matsu World suggests the man's calm reaction to the ghost was in order to not scare his son. Matt claims this is just one of the frightening anomalies that occurred to the family in this home. He also says they ended up moving as they'd suffered enough. After seeing this single event, I don't think I'd stay in that house a moment longer. The G-Team visited downtown Savannah, Georgia at night in this paranormal investigation. The first spirits they meet seem to be super friendly. In the streets around here. Hi. Did it just say hi? It said hi. Oh. They begin to feel a presence around them. Okay, so when I was over there a few minutes ago, I thought I somebody walked up behind me. And I looked around, there was nobody there, and you were way over that way. Peering into the Davenport house, the lady's spidey senses start to tingle. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. So this is the Davenport house. Then as they're standing outside more historic buildings, they hear this mysterious noise. I was looking up there because I felt like something was up there. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? I did. And even creepier, they see what appears to be a shadow entity. In the end, the G-Team is feeling such creepy vibes that they call it a day. Get this sketched out no. very easily. I'm usually the one getting the sketched out feelings, but she's got it really bad. I'm like, usually, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's get in there. <laughs> Would you keep up the search? Me neither. Richard 205 Maria posted this video in 2013. The description reads, An entity ghost got a cat jumping scared. They can make very loud noises. In this video, we can see how what many call a rod shifted into something totally different and was flying at a super fast speed and it made a noise that was very loud and tried to attack the cat, which heard the noise and jumped scared over the fence. In the video, the cat walks towards a fence, but when something suddenly shoots down at it, the cat jumps up and hops over to escape the frightening noise. When the video is run in slow motion, the YouTuber suggests the entity is a shapeshifter. It seems to fling down to the ground and back up again. Some in the comments section think this thing was a sky fish. Others say it's obviously a bat. What do you think? Could it be a shapeshifter? Regardless, the footage is quite creepy for the fact that something did seriously startle that cat. Located in the UK, Bishton Hall is one of the most haunted places in the country. YouTuber Ghost Shift UK explores these hallowed halls in this scary video, and they quickly get a reading on their paranormal devices. Whoa! Hello! Whoa! That is completely been mental. When he asks the spirits to trigger the K2, they comply. Can you just make that K2 red? Can you do that again, please? Make it go to red. Wow. That's probably max now. Then, out of nowhere, the spirit shares its name through the spirit box. Jesus. Jesus. Gerald. Okay. Even the ambient noises in the cellar sound haunting. He then hears a voice, which he describes as a shout. I'm just 
so much to show it to him. And then he hears this strange noise. That's freaked me out a lot. I'm convinced. It might be ghost tube up. When he returns to the room to check out the ghost tube device, he captures these EVPs. He heads upstairs to set up his devices in the headmaster's room, where they immediately detect activity. Creeps really bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's that then? Clearly, the headmaster is here. Max Narvaez, big time. Thank you. Can you stop, can you? Can you stop for me? Please? Stop. Thank you. Although we don't see any paranormal activity, we do hear a lot throughout this investigation. Ghost Shift UK calls Bishton Hall the most haunted place he's ever explored. It does appear to me to have significant and multiple energies, but I can't tell whether they're good or evil. Watch the left side of your screen for something creepy. <laughs> A large figure is bouncing up and down at the side of the road trying to get their attention. What they see when they drive past leaves them creeped out for life. This screenshot taken at exactly 7 seconds shows a weird fish-like head turning one oversized eye towards the camera for a closer look. I was thinking this could be like a company mascot or something, but they aren't standing in front of a business and they aren't holding a sign. Has this car full of friends caught an authentic unknown creature sighting on camera like they claim? I wish they would have driven back around for another look, but I can understand them not wanting to risk it. Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the Ghost subreddit, the previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. Is this the sound of a demon? YouTube team Paranormal Nightmare TV series is investigating this evil place when they manage to capture a crazy noise. Just listen. One of the crew is inside, while the others are outside. They both assume the sound came from each other. What's that? Is that you that screamed? No, that was you. No, no I didn't scream. That was you. I swear to God, that was not me. I think you just screamed. No, I swear to God. Yeah, that was loud. Did you just scream? It didn't so much sound like a scream to me, more like a grunt of some kind. Either way, I would say that has to be demonic. What is it like to have a bad encounter with a demon? You're about to find out. Published by Dark Life in December of 2021, this ghost hunter is thrown from above and not so politely asks why he came. When he asks who she is, she responds, and when he later asks that she state her name, her real voice comes out. Yes, 
Later, when no one is answering him, he hears a noise coming from the next room, and that something appears to get aggressive with him, pulling him to the ground. That's when his battery runs out. Did he make it out alive? Well, this video did make its way online, but let's say only the demon knows for sure. Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest, residents of San Antonio, Texas. Likely double check their locks after video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear, saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. There is a haunted painting somewhere in this art gallery in Birmingham, UK. The only problem is Ted Whitehall isn't sure which painting it is, so he calls a pastor to hold an exorcism and cleanse every last one of them. Something demonic is determined not to let that happen. Oh, take it from this place. It has no place here, Lord. I cast this out in the name and I bind it in the mighty... An angry ghost keeps slamming the door. It hates whenever the pastor talks about being cast out and keeps doing its best to interrupt him. I cast you out and bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Persistent pastor pushes aside his fear and fires off the final words. You can hear the defeated spirit walk away. Cast it into the pit, Lord, and bind it forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That could just be somebody off camera walking away. So let's turn our attention towards the chair, which Ted says is made of cast iron. Can anybody tell me if this is really made out of cast iron? If so, it should weigh a ton and be virtually impossible to move. To call this paranormal activity would be an understatement. This is one powerful painting. Heavenly Harmony Sound Haunting, this one may actually be. Published to YouTube in June of 2020, this clip comes from a video that'll give you nightmares, according to the Portuguese title. The clip is gaining traction in the Spanish and Portuguese speaking YouTube communities, and after watching, you'll know exactly why it's become so popular. The footage shows a children's choir practicing, led by their enthusiastic conductor. They're likely preparing to perform for their parents in a Christmas program, judging by their Santa hats. At first, all seems normal, nothing out of place, that is until the shot zooms in on this child, who appears to be experiencing something out of the norm. The girl with long black hair leans her head back, as if her actions are out of her control. She appears possessed, and her face, blurred to begin with, even disappears at some point, like it's erased from the video altogether. The young girl dips her head back several times in this manner, which is plenty of cause for concern but it's her seeming to vanish from the footage only to re-emerge that's especially creepy. Is this girl possessed? Can the vanishing act be somehow explained? What is happening here? One thing's for sure, it's freaky. The head, it's alive. YouTube channel Scary Station features this strange creature that frankly looks to me like a human head. It looks like a head until it does this. Yeah. 
even if these guys poked and prodded the thing all night, I don't think we'd be any closer to knowing what it is. All I know for sure is, it's giving me the chills. Number 11. In the Dominican Republic in April 2013, uploader DR Local encountered a mysterious sea creature. During a scooter-powered night scuba dive, the time was 9.15 p.m., while the depth was 20 meters. The creature was reportedly bony, three quarters of a foot long, with a small head and sharp teeth. It also had translucent fins and a purple and steel sheen-colored body. The mysterious creature swam both backwards and forwards. The dorsal fin helped it maneuver both directions and propelled it at higher speeds moving forwards which made it appear more eel-like rather than blade-shaped. According to the uploader, what could this eel-like creature be? YouTube commenters, of course, are full of suggestions. Doom Octopus said it looked like a young oar fish, while Zane Reavers said it was a cutlass fish. Both of these seem plausible, but Sam Paul's suggestion seems to be on the nose. It's a hair tail, very common around Sydney, Australia, usually fished at night by a very dedicated fisherman, very sharp teeth, and not too bad to eat. Whatever the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into it in the depths of the sea at night. This video comes from a YouTube channel in Poland called The Slamming Door, which was named after a loud poltergeist who frequents a small home in Europe. The owner of the home eventually sets up cameras in all of the main rooms to capture the highly aggressive spirit in action. Everything looks normal in this bedroom until about 50 seconds into the video when the poltergeist demands to be acknowledged. It targets a video game collection and sends cases to the floor. This could have been done with a string, but watch again and it does look like an invisible entity swipes everything off the shelf in one smooth motion with their arm. Also, this is a fairly big gaming collection, so if this was fake, you'd think they would knock over something less expensive that they didn't collect or otherwise care about the condition of. This final video is what finally drove them out of the house once and for all. They enter only to find the house has been trashed, and it seems like a spirit is following them around as they explore room to room. They return to the same bedroom in the previous video, and something is in there with them that makes them jump. <laughs> On the way out, the kitchen light swings wildly, and a chair briefly pulls out on its own. I wish they would have recorded the entire room so we could verify that no one was in there with them, but they were obviously in too much of a hurry to fully document the occurrence. A man in Saudi Arabia films himself working outside when he almost gets seriously messed up. At first, it looks like he simply loses his balance, but that's not what he claims, and it's not what the video evidence shows. He says something in the desert pulled on his leg a supernatural force that wanted him to fall. Watch again and you'll see his leg does go backwards, but it doesn't go very high so maybe he could be lifting it himself. So while this would be a creepy situation, it's hard to say if he's really telling the truth or making it up for attention. Judging from the comments, about two-thirds of the people who have watched this video worry it's real. Do you believe them? Imagine you were walking past an abandoned factory when you saw this. Edge Ninja published this terrifying video in March of 2017. Although it was recorded all the way back in 2013, Edge Ninja explains, the factory, as it was dubbed, had been an eerie fixture in our neighborhood since before my family even moved in. In 30 years, I never saw a single person or vehicle go in or out. The YouTuber walks around the building to confirm that the lights are flashing in multiple wings. Even creepier as Edge Ninja zooms in on a light in a stairwell near the end of the video. YouTuber Oreo the Wolf Fox points out a ghoulish image in the left window, what appears to be a face. Cue the shivers. This building is no longer abandoned. It was renovated and is now used as a factory for a watch company. One wonders if the new factory workers have crossed paths with this creepy figure in the window. It's a rainy day in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and a YouTuber named Bulldog is with his girlfriend in the backyard. 
They are taking random videos and talking about nothing in particular when they encounter something that makes them think they are not so alone after all. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. Liar. Some sort of smoke or mist appears to briefly transform into the shape of a person, taking a few brisk steps and then fully dissipates. Bulldog says it looked like someone who is running, and I agree that it does resemble the upper torso and shoulders of someone in motion. With that said, it looks to me like the figure may also be lacking a head. A YouTuber named Elton Minea Severo is recording a webcam video. When a phone call interrupts him, it looks like he might sense that something is nearby when he is talking, but he is too distracted by the conversation to give it much more than a moment's thought. As soon as he hangs up the phone, a white moon-shaped face peeks in from around the corner. It surveys the room for a bit before ducking down and leaping out of sight when Elton turns around, at which point you can momentarily see some kind of weird body with short arms and legs. There is a chance that all of this could be edited, but before you immediately think this is fake, keep in mind that it was recorded in 2006, so pretty much all webcam videos looked grainy like this. If anything, this was a pretty high quality video for its time, especially considering YouTube was less than two years old when it was uploaded, so who knows what it could have been. It's 3am when three friends decide to walk down this haunted road. At 3 minutes and 13 seconds, they turn their headlights on and off, which I think they are supposed to do to make something scary happen. Then he begins rolling around like a possessed man. He has a lot to say when he snaps out of his apparent possession, and I would like to understand, in his words, what he just went through. If you speak the language, please tell me what is being said here, and if you think it's real or fake. <laughs> I don't see any tears, but he looks really stressed out. So overall, I'm not sure what to make of this bizarre event. E sighting. Blink and you might miss it. Shared by Redditor Dreadlock. This is one of the most compelling UAP videos captured by Homeland Security in Puerto Rico. The flying object is first seen traveling quickly over land. Keeping the object in its sights, the camera captures it as it dips down into the water, entering and exiting without seeming to lose any speed. After a time, it splits into two, each drifting away from the other. What is this thing? The experts can't even pin down what this thing is, so I don't think we'll ever know for sure. But yeah, it feels pretty extraterrestrial to me. Number 20. Amanda Castillo uploaded a video to YouTube of her being stuck in a traffic jam on a busy highway near Chino Hill. Usually in a traffic jam like this, it can be quite boring as you have nothing to do but to simply wait until the backup slowly starts to ease up and you can continue driving. But that day, Amanda saw something that definitely caught her attention. Right here. And what this uploader is claiming is that this is a bird that has passed away and is just floating in the air. And I do kind of see that outline that they're talking about. Yes, 
I mean, whatever this is, bird or not, it, it still looks like something that shouldn't be just floating in the air like it is. And it looks like whatever it is, it's, it's floating fast as well, like it's clearly moving. This is one of the very few videos I have seen recently that I honestly have no explanation for what is happening. It looks like a bird is simply floating in midair above this busy highway, but that obviously cannot be possible. However, it looks like this is exactly what is happening here. A commenter on Amanda's videos claims to have also been on the same highway that day at around the same time and he claims that he saw the bird too and assures people that there was no visible string any were attached to the bird. So what could have possibly caused this? Is this really a bird or something else? I'm curious to hear your theories on this one. A TikToker named Dot Ariana Alexis has a hidden talent that really should have remained hidden. Her eyes split to opposite sides in a way that only reptiles should be able to do. This migraine-inducing eye roll looks impossible, but is it? I was sure that this had to be special effects, but to be honest, nothing about it looks fake. And based on this other video, I think spreading her eyes apart may be the insane natural trait that I didn't know was possible. She appears to be in no pain, and I guess could have a super stretchy fiber optic nerve. Tapping out the window at 3am, this video by TikToker, Diego Spikers will have you dead bolting your door. You can see a woman through the window aggressively knocking at the bathroom door of this apartment but when the guy opens it to her, no one is there. Where did she go? Some in the comments say this could be After Effects editing. Others say he should have knocked back. I personally like that idea. Which side are you on? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.